YouTube Pro Gamer Fob here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now today's video is going to be a breakdown video. We are breaking down the new gameplay trailer for Mario Dirt Toten that just released a few minutes ago. So I'm going to be breaking it down and basically telling you guys everything that I see in the trailer and what it could mean. So if you guys do enjoy this video, go ahead and leave it a like and subscribe. I mean, all social media those will be down in the description below as well as our Discord. Go ahead and join that if you want to hop in some of these zombie custom games that we play on video or on off. And uh, before we do get into it, if you guys haven't watched it, I'm going to go ahead and play it now and then break it down afterwards. Everything and everyone can be corrupted. Even those close to you. I doubt you realize what she has done. The traitor is somewhere in Berlin. Destroy her army, or your pilot will be bled dry. that threatens to allow a long dead army to reinfect our world. You will stop her. And when the time comes, all right everyone here we are let's break it down i want to start off beginning here sorry for like the little white stuff up here and down here you know all my stuff is broken so you know you gotta you know deal with it all right i have it on like the, i think the slowest as possible so it's gonna be taking us the time here okay we see um probably us shooting i'm guessing this is gonna this is one of the new ray guns or i'm pretty sure the ray guns so i'll be hear, hearing people call them ray guns that is the new one weapon so it shoots off looks like three different directions top middle and bottom so that looks pretty cool you see you do another little shot right here here we actually get a, let me take go back a little bit we actually get a good look at the new rate one of the new uh one weapon ray guns you see it's like a small little pistol we got some zombies in the background let me just make sure this is um it's on 1080p okay it's probably just how i paused one of the new ray guns right here orange Let's continue here is i maybe a new round based uh enemy but i know there's the panzers in this trailer so maybe this is a boss fight this is the boss the skull like fire and everything so maybe this could be the boss and we have uh, another new zombie it's like she's like you got crystals or like pointy stuff at the edge on like everywhere on them and maybe fire and like you see fire in his eyes and like coming out of his mouth unless that's like lava or something here you can see the new the background let me see if i can change this to uh because i want to see you know get the better look at everything but it's probably because i was paused and everything all right let me just get back here all right back to where we were yeah there's another shot of him right there okay here is mule kick we have mule kick yes it's returning I want to double tap, but, you know, we're getting Mule Kick. And you can see the, all the weapons on the side here. It's basically you're kind of sh telling you what Mule Kick is if you kind of don't want Mule Kick it. Because you can see it has basically multiple weapons. So it's kind of the prank machine is like, you know, telling you you can hold multiple weapons. Um, let's continue. Here, I'm guessing it's underground. You can see the train and everything. So it's probably an underground spot. The train is on fire. Um, here is probably like middle air courtyard you can see the little the grenades right here i'm pretty sure that's what he is that's those we got a blueprint of those the other day so i'm pretty sure these are going to be the, the new grenades see shooting zombies um something's over here like electric you see something purple there as well 
Here is, you can see a good view of the, I think it's, it might, maybe this might be the middle of the map. You see the little courtyard or middle area here. We'll probably be able to get on a roof because that's where the camera's looking. Like, you know, on the roof and the zombies climbing up. You got a guard tower right here. And obviously the buildings are on fire. We got a couple shots of zombies right there. I don't know if it'll be slow enough to, it's just, you know, random zombies obviously like slashing. And then we get Mao to tone official trailer. Let's skip a little bit here. Here, I'll see another view of the uh, map. Nothing I can see that's going on in here. It's just basically a, you know, oversight view of it. Continuing, same with the guard tower. And you saw a little, little red light go cool transition there. And here we are. If you guys don't know, at the end of the second outbreak Easter egg, Requiem got captured by Kravchenko. So this look is, looks like we're in a little torture chamber area, but he's not really torturing us. Uh, well, this might be Raptor 1 right here. This, or maybe it's just a, you know, because we play operators, we use different skins and everything, so we don't use set operators, you know. So this could be Raptor 1 or just one of the other operators. And Kravchenko is basically talking to us. You can see he's talking to us. So he's basically saying that the, I forget her name, but the woman scientist at the end of uh, Firebase C, that girl name, I forget what her name is, but basically, um, she's trying to make an undead army, um, and surprisingly, Kravchenko wants us to stop her. You know, we all think maybe, like, oh, we're gonna be, uh, we are technically, we're gonna be Omega, I'm pretty sure of this, uh, we'll be working with Omega, but, you know, we have thought, like, you know, we'll be working, trying to start, you know, help with that, but it looks like Kravchenko wants to take her down and prevent her from getting her army. Here's another view on the map, we got a flag right here. You see a zip line right here, which is, uh, obviously what we could take. And then we got the mystery box up here on the roof, so we will be able to get on some roofs. Another street view here of some cars. Then here is another shot of Kravchenko talking to us. Another shot of the outside with like a zombie coming by. And this is her, obviously, like you know, this is her. But it's all blurred out and everything. But you know, that's that's basically her, right there. She so she might be a bot, the boss on this map. I mean, should we have to take her down or something? Here, more talking of Kravchenko to us, telling her, telling basically us to take her down and everything. I am surprised that, you know, oh, good, cool shot of a zombie here. This could be a Nazi zombie, you know, because she does want to, you know, make a, you no, know, because a bunch of, uh, pretty sure Nazis went to the Dark Ether and they're probably zombies now, so this could be her unleashing them right here. And looks, oh, we got a zombie, this could be a zombie coming out of the sewer right there, so... That's probably where the train area is. So maybe we can, you know, use a little as a doorway or something. Another st street view of the street on the map. Here, okay. This, I think, is going to be part of the Easter egg. You can see a bunch of people that could be zombies basically floating in the air with a oh, purple portal. So this could be dark ether portals right here. So this could be actually part of the Easter egg right here. So you can get a closer look and see. I think they're zombies, or maybe just dead people that are turning into zombies, basically floating in the air. And that could be, this could be dark ether portals right there, basically turning them into zombies. Or transferring, like, you know, consciousness of souls or whatever, you know. Here we got a shoot view of one of the inside buildings here. We're shooting some zombies. Nothing very interesting going on here, basically, you know, some buildings. A close up shot of the gun. Looks like there's a light back here, so this could be a trap, or this could be a way to power, because, you know, the um, arrows do point to power, so there could be power back there. Here's another view of us on the roof, so we will be able to get on rooftops. Probably plenty, because there's this box in the background, so we can probably get on a couple roofs. And, you see, it just goes down here, so there's probably a hole right here that comes up. And here we are, we can go to, zip lines are returning, so that's a means of transportation in this map, zip lines. And how the shot up zombies. Here's like a building in the background. Us running here we go, running down in the subway right here. So yes, we will be able to play in the subway with the train. So that's basically where it looks like where we're going right now. It looks like the train is also moving too. So you have to be careful when you go down or not to get hit by the train. Because there's looks like there's trains that come on both sides, so you can get trapped. And look, this in here showing the trailer, the guy gets trapped in between the trains with the zombies. So that could happen. So when you come down here, you're gonna have to watch out. Here we turn on power, and the light, I mean, yes, the light turns on down here. This is where Mule Kick is, so Mule Kick is in down under the, in the train station below. Now, maybe where it's where we'll start, maybe not. Here's another upside view of 
the outside map and you can see the people with the portals back here so we didn't see them in earlier shots so this could actually yeah be part of the easter egg right there so we're getting a little hint there here we are the robot i forgot the name's called but it, uh, they gave us blueprints the other day of this robot. He's a helper robot, just like uh, the Black Ops 3 and Shot is Evil, where you can uh, get the helper robot. So he's just basically helping us. So he could be part for the Easter egg. He might not just be to help us. So we'll have to see when it comes out. Another shot view here over the map. You see, I think another zip line right there. So there might be multiple zip lines you could take in this map. Another overshot view of the map. Here's a radio. So this could be part of the Easter egg, or just a random radio in hand. Here we are. We got Panzers in this map. Uh, I think I, I always knew there would, there would probably be Panzers in this map. I didn't know if it was going to be this map or because, you know, I always did want them to bring Panzers back, not just the Outbreak. So I love that they're bringing them into this map. But hopefully we don't get flooded with um, different, uh, you know, different kinds of mid-round zombies. You know, because we don't want a lot of them. But I like the Panzer. I like them in Black Ops 3. So good things coming back in this map. Here you have the Flamethrower. I think it's the same one as Outbreak. Nothing different. Um, another view of us shoot some zombies. And here you go. You see these people again. So these people are important to the map. Probably part of the Easter egg. As more zombies running towards the tower here. Looks like you might be able to get into this tower. Unless it's just set guns up here that were just shoot zombies when they get closer. Or this could be part of the Easter egg as well. Uh, another view of you can see the people here uh, floating in the little portals you can see that blue gun right there so we might be able to get in this tower looks like it maybe not actually another view of the tower looks like killing the zombies here's a close-up view here you can see the pack up on chia that is on fire so it's right in between the people that are floating in the air through the portals the, something's going on with the pack punch because it is on fire as you can see here so getting a closer look these are zombies it looks like um probably floating in some dark ether portals probably like you know until they wake up or something like that. But you can see the pack of punch here is on fire. So something's going on with the pack of punch. Get more close up shots of the character. Here in the close up shot of the pack of punch you can see clearly on fire and all that. So maybe it's like if we use the pack of punch in that time, um something happens or something. Here's another shot of that boss that we got earlier. See his skull face and everything like that. So this might be the boss fight or like the, one of the leaders of the army. I don't know, to be honest, since it can't be another round base, you know, other, other round, you know, mid zombie boss, because we have the panzer, so that's what that can be. He has to be like the boss fight or something like that. And you can see, so this is why I think this is part of the Easter egg, because when that cool transition, I'm pretty sure that it's just transition shots, but you can see that a beam is coming across and hitting, go, basically going to go in a circle and hit everyone, every other zombie that's in the portal that's lighting up there. So you can see that they're getting connected together, so I think... Here's a good shot right here. It's hitting the pack punch as well. So I think this is why this is part of the Easter egg because maybe it has, you know, I don't know what it would be, but I, I definitely think this part is part of the Easter egg because you see, it looks like the light's going from the pack punch and it's basically hitting the other floating zombies in the portal. So this could definitely be part of the Easter egg. And you see they fall down. Okay, so maybe, okay, so maybe it's him bringing, okay, maybe, okay, here. This has to be maybe a round based guy because if him, um, obviously here with the zombies, so maybe, um, he bring, maybe us could still be part of the Easter egg, but he brings those zombies to life, so these could be other round, mid-round zombies bosses. See the glowing purple? Here is another shot of the ray gun. Um, I think it's the same one as earlier, you can see the, uh, orange and everything like that, so another shot of the, of another ray gun. Here, okay, that's, that, look at that reload. Here is a first-person view and here is an orb looks like that just came out of the gun i thought it was reloaded but it wasn't so maybe this helps you when you're shooting i don't know what it could be here it looks like a pillar on lighting up so this right here is something it could be part of the easter egg as well he has shooting a ray gun okay uh, this is connected to him so this is that guy is i'm pretty sure a round based uh boss because you see him coming out of here you see that he is connected to this there Here's another shot of the ray guns reloading. Here's another shot of one of the other ray guns right here. Um, don't know what the power of this could be. But it looks like the exact same, except it has a bigger barrel, circular barrel up here, just like the thunder gun. So maybe this is kind of one of those weapons. Okay, never mind. That is this. Like when we in the beginning, when we saw the one shooting three, that is the one that shoots the three shots in all the other directions. And it looks like it explodes the zombies. Here's this guy converting, and looks like maybe converting these zombies. 
Then we got another shot of uh, Mule Kick, us drinking Mule Kick. Um, oh, it looks like the guns on Mule Kick actually shoot the zombies. You see this gun right there, it shoots, and if that's actually, damn, that can help us when uh, getting Mule Kick, you know, so we got a lot of zombies around us, go get Mule Kick, and it can actually shoot some of the zombies. Here, we got another view of those, looks like Crystal Fire, or maybe mid round things okay what i'm thinking actually is there's not going to be any dogs on this map but instead of dogs we get these guys and at the when we kill them all week at the max ammo so i think instead of dogs we're going to get these guys which good thing because i hate freaking dogs on this game it looks like he exploded and this guy could be sucking him in giving him more power but you never know with that some more uh zombie shots killing zombies another few of the panzer and this guy looks like using his alt here and uh, doing something. And uh, Kravchenko again talking to us about stopping her and all of that. Let's continue here. Let's see how, I'm pretty sure the rest is just him talking to us. Here's another shot of her, but obviously it's all, you know, can't see it. So there you go. Mauer Durto in. Um, it comes out next week. So be sure to stay tuned for live streams. I'm going to live stream um probably not when it comes out but the next day like the 15th when i wake up doing a first playthrough of it and make sure there's nothing else here at the end nope we just get available now so there we go guys the breakdown of the new mildred tone gameplay trailer map if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe follow me on all social media as be down in the description below and let me know down in the comments section what you guys think of this map if you're hyped for it and uh, maybe your theories of everything I showed in the trailer, maybe if you think that the floating people aren't part of the Easter egg or not, just let me know your uh, theories down in the comment section below. Go ahead, join our Discord. That's where uh, we're trying to build a community. Me and just Javich Dagger over there if you want to join us with some zombies on video or off and just chill and try to build a community all together. So if you guys did enjoy, like I said, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace out.